Warren's police commissioner has called it evil and senseless, but so far the person who killed a six-year-old boy and a 28-year-old woman execution style is still on the streets. And tonight the mother of the woman killed is speaking out to the defenders as she deals with the grim, sad task of laying her daughter to rest. Sean Lay spoke with her just a short time ago and he's with us now live. Sean. And Devin, this grieving mother revealed to us she just viewed her daughter's remains, picking up new clues and new incredibly disturbing details about what was done to her and the little boy that was with her that she says are absolutely just shocking. And at the same time, she's now caring for her daughter's eight-year-old left without a mother. My baby, that was my baby girl. She had a daughter. Derlanda Farmer is talking about her daughter, Isis Rimson. She was the sunshine. You could not come in her presence and not feel loved, appreciated, uplifted. But the 28-year-old was found shot to death in the basement of a Warren home last week, along with her boyfriend's six-year-old son, Tyrez Moore. Tyrez's father's remains found burned in a car in Detroit. Farmer just viewed her daughter's remains, picking up shocking information about what was done to her by the killers. Information, she says, only the killers know and that she'll hold on to for now. Let's make her life matter. Please. This case continues to shock the community. Detroit rapper Trick Trick putting up $6,000 in reward cash to catch the killers. Detroit pastor Welton Smith matching that $6,000 today. That Trick Trick, my hat go off to you, man. But he can't do it by himself. So let's create a community in a moment where the street work with the church and figure out that while the police are trying to figure out what they're trying to figure out, maybe the church and the community can come together. So as this new evil is arising, we can reestablish a culture. Her life mattered. She was a victim of a vicious crime. And with the killers still out there when they lay their daughter to rest, it's going to be basically secret and heavily secured. Devin Kimberly, we watched this mom put her arm around her granddaughter and walk back into the house, now caring for the granddaughter. She has a GoFundMe to help with the granddaughter's future. We'll link that to our page. Click on Detroit.com. A couple quick things about pastors and celebrities getting involved. This mom says she is all for it. More should jump in. In fact, rapper T.I. was on a Facebook Live yesterday with thousands watching and was told of this incident so it is getting a uh, coast to coast coverage right now back to you and Sean do we have any sense of where the investigation stands right now we check uh, every day and we're told uh, that it's all hands on deck detectives there in Warren working the case extremely hard working with Detroit police homicide investigators but still piecing everything together no arrests have been made at all all right Sean